Greetings everyone, Pete Pardo here from Sea Tranquility. Welcome to another episode of What's Hot with Sea Tranquility. It's Wednesday, new review day here on the channel. Today we're going to take a look at a brand new release studio album from this particular U.S. band from La Quinta, California. It's their sixth studio album, Heavy Psych Sounds Records. It is Yawning Man, Long Walk of the Navajo. Pretty cool cover, right? Three epic link tracks, all instrumental music. Like I said, Heavy Psych Sounds Records. So these guys have been around. This is my first time listening to them. They have been around since the mid-80s. Been around for a long time. And these guys are, are notorious for being one of the early kind of... Um, desert rock bands you know it's kind of desert rock is kind of like an offshoot of psychedelic rock and stoner rock uh where you have like uh these long trippy arrangements and it's music that kind of sounds like what you would hear if you went out into the desert and listened to you know heavy music right uh but these guys were notorious if you read up on their history they would uh, regularly go back in the old days again this is pre like uh, Caius and Queens of the Stone Age and Fu Manchu and all that they would like go out and load up all sorts of equipment in a big generator in a van and they would invite people to like a party and they would go out to the middle of the desert and they would set up all their equipment plug everything into the generator and everybody would go out and get stoned and drunk and trip out and whatever and they would just hang out and be loose and and uh just chill and play these like long rambling sprawling sets of uh instrumental kind of heavy trippy psychedelic music right that's kind of what these guys were known for back in the day that's like a million years ago, right? 1986, so long ago. So uh, in the ensuing years, they kind of kept doing that, playing lots of live gigs and whatnot. And eventually, I think in like 2005, I think they released their first full length, but they've got loads of EPs and live albums. So, But this is their sixth uh, full length studio album. So you've got uh, in the band, Gary R.C. on guitar. Bill Stinson on drums and Billy Cordell on bass. Uh, so Long Walk and Respiratory Records at Gato's Trail by Dan Joe Wright. Blood Sand recorded by Steve Killey in Yucca Valley at Gary's House. All songs mixed and mastered by Steve Killey. Um, so on and so forth. Yeah, so three tracks. Long Walk of the Navajo, which is just over 15 minutes long. Respiratory Pause, just over 13 minutes long. And Blood Sand is uh, just under 10 so all told there, you've got like uh, about just under 40 minutes worth of music, right? All instrumental, no vocals whatsoever. This is very laid back, trippy, chill music. It's not your typical stoner rock. There's nothing really heavy on this. Uh, is it riffy mm, in spots, but this is more like textures and colors and really cool use of like guitar effects and um, layerings. Uh, and there's some cool solos, um, but it's not, this is not earthless by any means. Think maybe kind of like a more, less riffy, more expansive King Buffalo. Um, God, there's other bands that I could probably compare them to, but I'm like uh, drawing a blank on, on thinking of names. It's very different. It's just, uh, if, if you like your psychedelic music, it's very psychedelic, um, but not in a psychedelic freak out sort of way. It's very atmospheric and dreamy music. Like I said, the guitars just kind of take you away. They float and drift occasionally. They get a little on the aggressive side, but for the most part, not. The, the drums and the bass kind of like um, this kind of like undulating, intoxicating kind of thing. It just kind of like picks you up and kind of drags you along and floats around and it's very cool music but this is not headbanging music by any means so if you want something a little bit more expansive a little bit more atmospheric and psychedelic and definitely trippy this is the band for you uh really cool stuff uh, i'm interested in here I, I also picked up one of their live albums uh which is uh, live at giant rock which will probably and i haven't listened to it yet and just to give you an idea so that's generally what these guys would do they would just pack up all their gear and a generator and go plug in and play out in the middle of the desert and people would come right so live at giant rock so uh that's probably 
going to be very interesting to hear. Like I said, just got to have a listen to it. But yeah, back to the Long Walk of the Navajo. Um, the first, and, and the, the songs kind of like almost like blend into each other. Long Walk of the Navajo is really cool. That's the longest one on the album that kicks it off. Um, again, very dreamy, swirly type stuff going on. I think Blood Sand, the last track, is probably the most aggressive of the three. That's very cool. Some really cool guitar tones on that. And then Respiratory Pause, the middle track, is also really good. Uh, I like this. Uh, I, this probably, to me, is going to be more of like mood music. I think uh, this, uh, I don't really listen to stuff on headphones much, but I think this is something, uh, obviously I have this in my iTunes now and on my iPod. So this is probably something at the gym, maybe on a day where I'm just kind of like uh, not wanting some really heavy pump iron type stuff. And I want something just kind of like, you know, head music. This would be perfect for it. So if you're someone who regularly listens to music on headphones, uh, this is probably something you really want to hear. Very, very cool stuff. Again, I can't really compare them to anybody else because they don't really sound like anybody else. But it's cool, kind of swirly, psychedelic desert rock music, I guess. It's what you would expect to hear out in the desert. It's jammy, but it's not frantically jammy, right? <coughs> so check it out. It's on Heavy Psych Sounds Records. I'll put a link to their... Uh, to their Bandcamp page, so you can go check this out down below. Yawning Man, Long Walk of the Navajo. Um, geez, easy 3.5 out of 5 star. Easy. Might even be pushing that a little bit, but uh, this is really solid, really enjoyable. Nothing to dislike here. You know, maybe I like my heavy psych music and stoner stuff a little bit more on the riffy side, but I still think this is really, really good, and I would highly recommend this. So, Long Walk of the Navajo by Yawning Man. Check it out. This is on the web at www.cdtranquility.org. We're on Facebook. We're on YouTube. All together, all the damn time. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and click on that notification bell so you get alerted of all of our content as it posts, and please do hit the like button before you leave. Also, down below, we got the links to our Ko-Fi page for channel donations, as well as our merch page. So, thanks in advance for all that. We also have Cameo down below as well. So, uh, I'm P. Pardo. We'll see you soon here with more reviews. Should have a couple more coming for you today. And until then, don't touch that dial. See you soon. Bye-bye.